After Quentin Beck frames Peter Parker for murder and reveals his identity as Spider-Man, Parker, his girlfriend MJ, best friend Ned Leeds, and Aunt May are interrogated by the Department of Damage Control. Lawyer Matt Murdock gets Parker's charges dropped, but the group grapples with negative publicity. After Parker, MJ, and Ned's MIT applications are rejected, Parker goes to the New York Sanctum to ask Stephen Strange for help. Strange casts a spell that would make everyone forget Parker as Spider-Man, but it is corrupted when Parker repeatedly requests alterations to let his loved ones retain their memories. Strange contains the spell to stop it and makes Parker leave. Parker tries to convince an MIT administrator to reconsider MJ and Ned's applications but is attacked by Otto Octavius. Hello, Peter. Octavius rips Parker's nanotechnology from his iron spider suit which bonds with his mechanical tentacles and allows Parker to disable them. As Norman Osborn arrives and attacks, Strange teleports Parker back to the Sanctum and locks Octavius in a cell next to Kurt Connors. Strange explains that before he was able to contain the corrupted spell, it summoned people from other universes who know Spider-Man's identity. He orders Parker, MJ, and Ned to find and capture them, they are able to locate and retrieve Max Dillon and Flint Marco. Osborne reclaims control of himself from his split green goblin personality. He goes to a feast building where May comforts him before Parker retrieves him. While discussing their battles with Spider-Man, Osborne, Octavius and Dylan realize that they were pulled from their universes just before their deaths. Strange prepares to reverse the contained spell and send the villains back to their respective universes, but Parker argues that they should first cure the villains' powers and insanity to prevent their deaths upon their return. Parker steals the spell traps Strange in the mirror dimension, and, with May, takes the villains to Happy Hogan's apartment. He cures Octavius, but Osborne's goblin persona takes control and convinces the uncured villains to betray Parker. As Dylan, Marco, and Connors escape, the goblin fatally injures May. Before she dies, May tells Parker that, with great power, there must also come great responsibility. Ned discovers that he can create portals using Strange's sling ring, which he and MJ use to try to locate Parker. They instead find alternate versions of Parker from the villains' universes who were also summoned by Strange's spell and who are nicknamed, Peter II, and, Peter III. The group finds this universe's Parker, nicknamed, Peter I, who is ready to give up and send the villains home to die. The alternate Parkers share stories of losing loved ones and encourage Peter one to fight in May's honor, and the three Parkers develop cures for the villains. The group lure Dylan, Marco, and Connors to the Statue of Liberty. Peter one and Peter two cure Connors and Marco while Octavius arrives to help cure Dylan, and Ned frees Strange from the mirror dimension with a portal. The goblin appears and unleashes the contained spell, which begins pulling more people in from other universes. Strange attempts to hold them off while an enraged Peter 1 tries to kill the goblin. Peter 2 stops him and Peter 3 helps Peter 1 inject the goblin with his cure, restoring Osborne's sanity. Peter 1 realizes that the only way to protect the multiverse is to erase himself from everyone's memory and requests that Strange do so, while promising MJ and Ned that he will find them again. The spell is cast and everyone returns to their respective universes, including Eddie Brock, who unknowingly leaves behind a piece of the Venom symbiote. Two weeks later, Parker visits MJ and Ned to reintroduce himself, but he decides against it. While mourning at May's grave, he has a conversation with Hogan and is inspired to carry on, making a new suit and resuming his vigilantism.